Alrighty, good morning guys. This is like, I haven't vlogged in ages just cause I've been pregnant. You would know this by now. I feel weird speaking about it on camera, but uh, yeah. So today is, I don't know what the date is. I don't know what the date is. Um, it's, the, it's the 19th of Feb. Um, and I am going to my ultrasound. I'm eight weeks today. I believe I'm eight weeks today. This ultrasound is my dating ultrasound, which you're meant to get at six weeks, <coughs> but they were booked out. So today was like the earliest that I could go. Um, but I'm pretty sure I'm eight weeks because I was using the Flow period tracker app and cause I was tracking my period and then I changed it to like trying to get pregnant. And then once you get pregnant, you can change it over to I'm pregnant. And because it tracks your period and stuff, it already works out like how far along you are. So that's why I'm pretty sure I am eight weeks. So when I go to the scan, it should say that I am eight weeks, hopefully. <laughs> Otherwise I have to live like a whole nother week of being seven weeks still. And I've already sent the Snapchat to my friends saying that I am eight weeks. So yes. Um, I was going to do like a full vlog of like telling my friends and family and stuff that I was pregnant, but I only got a few clips of telling my friends because when I went to tell my mum, it was like really overwhelming and I was like, I felt so sick. I was so anxious about telling her. I don't know why, because I knew she was going to be excited. It's not like I'm 16. It's just going to like kick me out and stuff, you know? So yeah. And then to tell like my other friends, like we could never organize a date for us to all hang out and stuff. So I had to tell them just over messenger. Um, so yeah, I didn't get to film their reaction and stuff. They're all super duper excited, but I do have some footage of me telling some of my friends. So I'll put that in here. Oh, I'm so nervous. Here she comes. I'm so I have to heat up my heat pack because my stomach's hurt and hurting from I think I've got ulcerative colitis like my mum, but it'll go because I took two bus oh, okay. <laughs> So you got like a leather jacket. Oh, I hate it. I hated my outfit so much. Really? I like it. I tried on like so many different things and I was like, I hate it. I, hate it. I was like, I, I don't have it. time for this. I need to go. Just go. Um, guess what? What? I'm pregnant. <laughs> Are you serious? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh. I was just talking tonight. My sister's come over for Is that the one who just got married? And I was like, yeah, they're like, so because oh, is she trying for a baby yet? And then I go, yeah, no, she is. And I'm thinking, oh, I just thought about the last conversation where you said you were. Oh my god! Yeah, no, it was like it was too early to take. It, well, it must have been too early to take the test when I did. Yeah. And then Monday, I didn't get my period because it's always like right on yeah. time. So I was like, oh, I'll just take a test. Oh, cool. And like I just like glanced at it and said I was pregnant. I was like, oh, I was like bawling my eyes oh, out. They shit. Oh my god, we're going to a beautiful I know. That's why I was like, I'll pick everyone up and I'll tell everyone, everyone to get in the car. I've had such perfect. perfect baby fever late. Hi. Hi. Hello. That's okay. Thank you so much for Kayla. No, that's okay. Oh my hang on, sorry. Yeah. Good. How are you guys? Oh, thank you. Good. I'm pregnant. What? Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> happening i'm going to my ultrasound um we are currently in like our five day snap lockdown so i'm really hoping that michael can come into this appointment with me because i know i've looked at the hospital that i'm being like transferred to after this um and it says that partners can't come in to the ultrasounds which i think is absolutely ridiculous um 
but that's just my opinion on it. I understand, whatever. But if I was in hospital, I could have two people come and visit me. You know, that's why it doesn't make sense to me. <clears throat> so anyway, they told me when I booked the appointment, this is because this is the first one, it's at a private place and I have to pay for it. They asked me like, is someone gonna be coming with you, like a support person or whatever? I was like, yeah, yeah. And my husband, she was like, yep, yeah, cool. Like you just have to wear face masks, which was, you know, obvious. But I'm hoping that just because we are in lockdown that he is still able to come in. Crossing our fingers, I'm so anxious about it because I know that like eight week ultrasounds can be like almost like the make or break to see if everything's okay. Um, but I'm really hoping everything is okay. Had my 750 mils of water. I'm so full. I'll show you my belly because I have been so bloated. It literally looks like I have like a proper belly. I showed Michael the other night. I was like, it was the end of the day. So I'm like extra bloated then obviously. But yeah, I'm like super duper bloated. Like it fully looks like I've got a belly even though I'm only eight weeks. So I know that I shouldn't, but I think I'm hoping I get one like early. See, I always have like a pretty big belly anyway, um, just cause I carry a, like a lot of weight on my belly, which I try to cover in photos. And I think I'm pretty good at covering it in photos. But yeah, that's me like pushed out. Probably a little bit over here. And then that's like normal. And then if I suck in, you can still see like the little bump down the bottom, which I'm not sure if that's just like a little bit of chub or if it is actually my thing. But yeah, hopefully everything's all good. And I was so looking forward to like after this appointment and hope I'm guessing we get a photo. Um going to like office works and then printing out a photo for like my mom and Michael's mom. But um, I can't do that because I can't go to office works and print out photos. Let's go and hopefully Michael can come in with me. That would be amazing. Alrighty, we just got back and we couldn't film in there just because it was, I don't know, she said we weren't allowed to. I don't know why. Um, we had a bit of a issue with accessing the photos and she was like, I'll, um, they'll be online. And I was like, okay, like I didn't ask where they would be because I was just too nervous. And so I thought they'd be on like the MyGov and like my health. So then I was trying to get in there and I couldn't. And then, yeah, so then anyway, I went on to like the company that I went through for the ultrasounds website and it said like access photos here. And I was like, oh. <laughs> and then it said I needed to put in a patient code and they didn't give me a patient code. And so then I had to call them again. She was like, oh my God, your card is right here with your patient code on and I'm so sorry. Um, I can't give them to you over the phone. So you have to come in and get it. So it's just around the corner. So it wasn't that big of a deal, but I'll show you the photos. Okay, so there's this one. Um, hold on, I'll go into the website. Get off. There we go. There's the little baby. And that one. They all look the same. It's a little yolk sack. Yeah, I don't really know what the rest of these are. It was so weird. She like showed me like, like that's my cervix. Like how weird. It like, it all looks just like, um, in my whole uterus. And then my ovaries and stuff. I was just like, that's so weird. Like it looks exactly like it does in like all like the, photo like modules and stuff that you see when like your Reese is like looking up what a uterus looks like I don't know so yes that is that how do you get excited um so the heartbeat was 173 which said was beautiful and also is apparently means it's a girl which is super exciting I really want a girl obviously I'll be happy either way but I really want a girl <laughs> 